Hello guys, yo, welcome to Up Close, your number one entertainment show on TV, only on Max TV Entertainment and more. I'm your host, Marshall. Today on the show, I have a special guest in the building. <laughs> We're gonna talk about his life, his music, his career, his marriage. Oh yeah, he's married. <laughs> and then after we're gonna talk about his top five music videos. And then guess what? I have a big, big, big surprise for him. I know you really want to know what the surprise is. Myself, I really want to know what the surprise is. So stay tuned. When I come back from the commercial break, me and my guest will chit chat. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. Okay, so if you just tune in, you're watching Up Close, your number one entertainment show ever, NGH. Today, huh, I told you I have a special guest in the building, and huh, he's my brother from another mother, the rap genius, the undisputed rapper, my man, Trigmatic. Hey, Marshall. What's up, man? What's I'm, up? What's I'm up? Good. I'm good. What's Yo, up with you, I'm man? I'm good, man. Where you been? It's been a while. I've been around, but you're looking great. No, you, you're looking <laughs> dope, man. I, I mean, you thank God, but I mean, I've, I've, been, I've been good. I've been around for All time. right, cool. So, so what have you been up to? I mean, it's been a while. I mean, I can see you've been moving around, doing a lot of projects. I mean, what have you been up to? Well, I mean, if, if I should say I've been working both behind the scenes and on 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 the scene yeah. uh, i've been doing so much so so many things trying to uh, fix a lot of uh, things in society as well um trying to move uh, beyond the norm and 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 move further and do extra you know because for you to stand out you have to do extra so yeah i mean that's that's what i've been up yeah, to oh man you've been doing yeah. great for yourself thank man. you so um let's take it way back yes. i mean looking at trick before there was Trig, there was someone else. Yeah. And, you know, I know your fans don't really know much about you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I mean, uh, my name is, <clears throat> sorry, Enoch Nanaya Odro EJ. Mm -hmm. uh, I was born on the 13th of December. Uh, oh, in the, in 13th the, December. Yeah. You know, I was, I'm 12, right? Oh, really? Yeah. Yo, so you see, we have something <laughs> in common. That's why we, we've been vibing, I know, right? I know, Yeah, that's what the vibe is so... Yeah, it's like... Wow, that makes yeah. sense now. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I was born in a neighborhood in Accra called okay. Flamingo. Okay. <laughs> that's where I grew up. So I was oh. born in the midst of, um, you know, so many things. Uh, when I say so many things, so many uh, vices. Okay. Where it was, you know, my neighborhood is full of crime, robbery, oh. and stuff like that. But it was fun. You know, it was fun. As kids, like, you know, we always saw these guys as heroes, like, people on their motorbikes. Like, yeah. when some of these guys get gunned down, like, they come to the neighborhood, you see cops around. And for us, I mean, it was some kind of fun, I guess. Whoa. So, I, you know, till I started growing up. And then, um, but, but in my house, my, my house was a bit sane where um, my, my grandfather was doing well for himself. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a grandparents type of, type of person. Yeah. Uh, my daddy was not in town. Mm. And then he came a little later, but my mom wasn't living with us, so I was living with my grandparents. And yeah, so that's my little story from the beginning. But I've always loved music. That's one thing that anybody that knew me, you know, knew that I would always be with my headphones, at that time, you know, we didn't have CD players even. It was the Walkmans yeah. or sometimes, and my house was a clinic. So I always had um, the stethoscope in my mm -hmm. ear, and then I will beatbox with the uh, with a tip, yeah, where, like where I can make a sound. I'll beatbox, <laughs> or I'll be scratching with a tip. Oh. You know? So I always loved music, and when I was a child, like, I was told, that anytime I cried a lot, but anytime I heard music, I stopped crying. Wow. So they used to like put uh, like a little player by my side, or anytime I start crying, they have to sing for me. And, and I guess I've been that musical person, even in school, from primary school. I was always representing our school, or probably going for a talent competition, and I was yes. always singing or rapping or doing one of those things. So wow. yeah, that's good. I mean, you've done so well for yourself. Mm. So. I mean, looking at you right now. Yeah. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Do I have? Um, <clears throat> how many? I think. I think. Okay, so that's Prisla. That's Prisla. 
There's Melvin. Mm -hmm. There's Prisla, Melvin. There's Chief. Ah. And then there is um, the the eldest. The the eldest is a, I'm the eldest, but the the There's eldest female. Okay. She's in Kumasi. So we're about five. Oh, you're about yeah, five. About five. Yeah. Where did you go to school? Where, where did you start your whole yeah, school? Yeah, so I, I was in um, home care, day, day care. Mm -hmm. Then I moved to um, Martin de Paris okay. for my kindergarten. But before then, in between that, I was juggling between that seven grades. Then I moved to Datus and came back to Martin de Paris. Whoa. Yeah. Wow, that's a long journey. <laughs> yeah, it was a long journey. <laughs> you know, then I stayed there. So, I mean, I was in Martin de Paris throughout to um, JHS 3. Okay. Then I left and I went to St. Martin's Secondary in Insawa Madreji. And from St. Martin's, I went to IPS. I went to NIIT. Okay. Then I moved to IPS. Okay. And then I went to Central University. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, it, with all this, how did the music start? How did it all start with Trigmatic? Well, I, I, I want to say that I'm one of the few people that always lived with music okay. because I cannot put a finger on when exactly it started. I found myself just doing music. Mm. Um, I remember uh, as far back as maybe primary four, five, I was still singing and I was in a group. Okay. You know, when I got to six, primary six, I was already doing fan world. Oh. You know, yeah. So... Around those times, we had a lot of talent shows. You know, now we don't have them, but I mean, well, we do have a few. Yeah, some we few, still have yeah, a few. But have I mean, you know, Fan World was the thing. Kid Fest was the thing. Recognize was the thing. Yeah, you back know, in the days. Back in the days, playback show. <laughs> if you don't go to Kid Fest, you're not. You're, you're not, not part of you're me, not, right? <laughs> you are not. I remember, uh, and there used to be community talent shows like okay. there was one at club 215 now someone yeah there club was one at king solomon yeah I, I, I remember one there was one that uh, a group that i was a prodigy to okay was second and tic tac's group they oh. were first it was tic tac and a guy called i think basem they, they used wow. to call them nutty strangers then yeah nutty nutty strangers, strangers yeah. then yeah um you know so i came from that era where wow. you, you have to like battle but maybe twice right. yeah it's not like day. today you have to just wake up go to the studio and nah, then man. you have music no you, you know <laughs> you have to battle like 12 12 to about 13 artists a day and you know when you win yeah it's, it was all about supremacy then yeah it was always about supremacy you know wow. but we, we, so i don't have a day or a time but i've always lived through you know i've always lived through these times with music uh moving to Lyrical hype, lyrics lounge, before even they started uh, bless the mic. Oh, before and they started bless, bless the, the mic. mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, yeah. God. You know, from you, G strings. You've been around for a while. Bless, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I've been around uh, for a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we're yeah. here today. So look at it. I have been trying to, you know, get your name trigmatic. I'm yeah. trying to understand it in a way. I don't know if it's illmatic. <laughs> you took the name from or. Oh, Trigmatic. I don't know where you got it. How did it all happen to you? Yeah, well, uh, well, I was Trigmatic before Illmatic, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. okay yeah. Okay, okay. Um, so back then, there used to be a freestyle show on Radio Universe, and I was not invited, or I've never been invited. I didn't know anybody on radio then. So a friend of mine, Abbas, was on campus. Me, I could not go to the university right after my mates did. Okay. I went a bit later mm. because, I mean, you know, like, you know, yeah, man has to hustle also. and all of that. <laughs> so I came, I went to visit him and I was like, Chale Abbas, what's up? And he said, oh, Chale, you know, if you can just go with me to Radio Universe, I have a freestyle night. Yeah. And I was like, yo, dude, but you remember when we were in high school, I used to freestyle with you. He's <laughs> like, yeah, come along with me. Maybe you yeah. can get a Anything slot. Anything can happen. So we went to the studio, and then it was uh, DJ Mo. Okay. And DJ Mo was like playing instrumentals and a bass, you know, a few guys. I was like, yo, these guys are just joking, man. Yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> so, and at that time, I was Trigger. Okay. You trigger. Know, yeah, Trigger. Like, I um, Yeah. He trigger on the gun. So oh, okay. he's called me Trigger. Some people used to call me Trigger Lee oh. and stuff like that. So I was like, oh. What these guys are doing, I can do times two. Yeah. So when they were done, DJ Mo said, 
I was in the back because me, I wasn't part of the interview. I was minding my business. They were doing their thing. I was waiting for a bus to finish. We we'll go grab food or something, and I go home. And then Mo was like, "Yo, the guy in the back, can you um, do you are you a rapper too?" And I said, "Oh yeah." He said, "Oh okay, jump on this beat." Yeah. He dropped the beat, and I started going in, and I was a, I was I was a freestyle artist. Yeah. You know, so I started going in, no rating. I was going in, and, and he was like, "Wow, you're crazy. What's your name?" Mm. Then uh, Trigger had come out from Hammer's Camp. Okay. Trigger Bema had released a song, and I was thinking, you know, because now that it's on radio, mm. I need to say something. It just mm. came out of my mouth. I said Trigmatic. Oh. Yeah, and that was it. And that was it. And that was it. And then he was like, yo, Trigmatic is in the. And, and, and then, then Barbie came from her room. Her hostess, she said she was listening. She came from her room and said, look, I need this guy on a radio interview on Saturday on wow. Vibe. You know, and then and then yeah, and the rest the rest is history. <laughs> wow, yo man, this is beautiful. Man. Yeah, I'm enjoying listening to you because you are such an inspiration. Thank you. It was man. Thank you. So see, this is it. Looking at Trigmatic, what would you say was that thing that really opened the door? That first thing in music. I think, hmm, I think it was a reaction from pain. Okay. You know, um, I had been through so much and the challenges was too much. Half the time I feel like I'm being humiliated uh, before people. I felt, you know, put down and pushed down all the time. Yeah. So well, the time I was laying in my room, I'd had a fight with um, my ex-girlfriend then. And I was there and I was on my bed and my, my mattress was on the floor, you know, in my room at Flamingo. And I was listening to... You were living then, alone at the time? I was time. living, yeah, living in a, but in a family house, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And, <clears throat> and then I heard Successful. They had just released, I said, I just want to be successful. successful. Yeah. This was in 2010. Yeah. So after Charlie, years of struggle. The hustle. You know, so you can imagine between that time and 2010, Charlie, I was tired. Wow. You know, I almost gave up. And then I heard the song and I was like, damn, this, this, this beat is dope. So I, I, I was freestyling the first verse because I was a freestyle artist. Yeah. So I, a first verse to something. It's like just wrote it down on a piece of paper. And the next day, I called Bones. I said, Bones, Charlie, I won't come to the studio. I went to the studio, recorded the first verse, and I didn't have a chorus to it. And I said, Bones, Charlie, quench all the lights, give me, make a date, and just play the beat. And Bones was just, you know, the drum lines yeah. and everything was, you know, like, it wasn't, it was mellow. Mm -hmm. So I was in a boot and, I was, and then I just started, nobody knows tomorrow. Oh. You know, just out of the, out of the, pain. the pain, you know. Yeah. And I just recorded. So when I recorded it, I said, boom, this song, they, you know we are not promoting it because it's a slow song. Yeah. Because that was the time when it was bumper to bumper from when they go yeah. and all that. And I was oh, like, that song. Hey. <laughs> the club bangers. Yeah. Nobody's waiting to, like, I mean, to come song. and listen to. No, no. Yeah. So I remember I had just, I, I struggled to find tickets money and everything to go to South Africa. South Africa, oh, it's not like any, <laughs> you know, and then No, I, but back in the day, South it was Africa, the, yeah, it was it's like thing. Yonki, right? Well, yeah, it was the thing, <laughs> I'm telling you. You know, and then I, I went. So when I left to South Africa and I came back, like people had the songs on their phone. Like, ah. So Bones called me and said, Charlie, bros, um, you know, Bones is Nigerian. It's like, bros, Charlie, they, they, you know, they came to rob me. They don't rob me, you know. I said, mm. so Bones, so what do we do? It's like, I, I don't know, your, your whole album is on it. Wow. I said, wow. And then, but, but I was like, okay, cool. Later, I realized that that was a miracle actually for me in disguise because the song leaked. You know, Whoa. my life, yeah, it leaked. And everybody had it on their phones. Like people started sending the song to you me. Know, and there was a time I was going to, to a place and I saw it in a, in a, in a, in a, and I had it in a bar. So I went in, I told the guy to give me a copy. And that's how I got the copy for it to be mastered. Wow. Yeah, so the song became big before I even did the mastering for the song. Wow. It was big, it was all over the place, but it was not on wow. radio. Yeah. So, so it was on the streets, like people had as ringtones and stuff, mm. and the whole ringtone thing was new. Yeah. So I mastered that copy that I had, and then I played a song. Godfrey was in Kumasi. He wasn't my manager yet. I played a song okay. to him, and Godfrey had been pestering me then. Yeah, like, you know, I want to manage you. I want to manage That's you. Gap management, That's gap right? management. Yeah. So I played a song to him. and was like, yo, Trey, we need to put this out. I'm coming to Accra. He came to Accra. 
Manche, I, I had saved Manche for yeah. a while. <laughs> so Manche's like, okay, Trey, if it's you, why not? Um, I'm gonna cut down the video cost for you totally. Just pay me a little uh, token for um, the camera guy, okay. and I'll direct it for you for free. So Manche said, you know, one time he said, let's go to a coupon. Even the jackets and the things that I use for that particular video, like we didn't buy anything. And my ex-girl then, like, you know, she had some sneakers she had just brought from the UK, okay. you know, so we used that. I remember, like, it was well, a tough In the movie. video, you had some jacket on. Those jackets, um, you know, came from, Laboral. I think they came from Gab Management. Okay. And, <laughs> and then... Um, <laughs> the glasses was for Manche. Wow. And yeah, I mean, it was it was a hard time. <laughs> so everybody was trying oh to like help. Oh my goodness, yo. And when we put the video out, mm. we were blown away yeah, yeah, by the yeah, response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People were dancing to club tunes, but all of a sudden they switched to that. That was even before uh, D Black released uh, his song with Kamna Kamna. Mm -hmm. Wow. I feel like he got inspired. Yeah, by yeah, that I think song. I think so too, yeah. because that song was dope as well. Yeah. Okay, guys. I mean, you heard it all from Trick. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody knows tomorrow. Uh, and I'm like, oh, the future, the life is now. It's not about getting rich, but the question is how. Without Christ in my life, I'm like an empty vessel. And if the word will guide me, I don't have to wrestle. Sometimes I backslide like the MJ dance, or maybe fall victim to some devilish plans. But, but if I go on my knees and I pray to Jai, he will protect I and take me out to these bars. And the word in the book kinda builds my hope. But these bad situations kinda make it hard to cope. I really thank God for bringing B up in my life. The only problem, she can't afford to be a broke wife. My frustrations make it feel like I always push her. Sometimes I wanna quit rap and be a pusher. It's like I'm running from myself. Oh God, I'm stressed. The only thing that keeps me alive is I Nobody am the best. Nobody knows tomorrow. Yeah, the life I live is hard to define. I mean, the life I seek is just hard to find. Situations make it hard to say. Summon his mind, express stress of my depression in every musical line. Missing my bread, papa, and nothing getting proper. No deal, but it's sitting, set me rap it, papa. Okay, see, got in the problem, but where to find them? Like a brother, got skill, but nobody to sign them. People living a life, others believe in the life. Some people live in the life, others will have to survive. But the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And if it make it my strength, I'm getting all that I want. And if it looks like you're slipping and your girlfriend's tripping, quit hitting the pipe, the liquor that you're sipping. Know that Christ is the answer that you're skipping. Yeah. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nia go ni ma ishi ne kero. Nia ba ken me bo ba nyo ba nyo ba nyo ba nyo ba. I can't believe in this sorrow. Nia go ne ba to mi ne keso. Nia go go ya ba ko she ko kula ni kula ni kula ni kula ni kula. Nobody 
nobody knows tomorrow. Okay, so if you're just tuning, ha, huh, you're watching up close and yo, my guest is in the building, right? Yo, my man Trick. Yo, Trick, remember I said I, I have a surprise for you? Yeah, you said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you got me thinking. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know I got you thinking. Um, you see, I have a very big surprise for you. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> Can we see uh, already? It's good to you. <laughs> Don't do that. I don't like surprises at all. Oh, really? I hate surprises. Oh, I mean, come on, man. This is nothing. This is just mm. a one-on-one, -on -one, like a brother, you know? Okay. You know I like you. You, Me and you have been in Marshall, for man. Can we, time. like, get the surprise already? <laughs> okay. All right. So the surprises. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, trick, man. Trick, man. Yo, you seen your surprise? Yeah, man. Okay, <laughs> no, okay, you know that. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, this is something I just wanted to do. Wow, that's just to beautiful. Make you happy. Man. I mean, it's 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 amazing as a married man <laughs> to be having a beautiful wife. Yeah, you know, who understands you? You know. So, I mean, hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Um, my name is Marshall. Hi, Marshall. And uh, I have your husband here with me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. I don't know what to say. You, you won't tell me that they have called you. Eh? <laughs> okay, so how are you doing anyway? I'm well, thank you. I'm really well. Okay, so I'm here with your husband. And uh, I, I, as I said earlier, it was a surprise call. Um, he's just blown away. <laughs> and I'm happy seeing you. Uh, so, I mean, what would you say about your husband? What, what would you, what, what, what's that word that you can just say, okay, my husband has done this and done that, and so I will never stop loving him. I will forever love him. I would say, the first, I'm telling everybody this, because it's something that stood out to me when I first met him. Humility. The humility on this man is amazing. And it's the fact that he loves God as well. Okay. He loves God. <laughs> Those two things are the things that I can describe them. He's very, very good here. And he's such a humble man. So, Trick, how is the how feeling is like?
Okay, okay, okay. So Trey, wow. I mean, how's the feeling like? I mean, it's work. just crazy. Like I was, yeah. I was just caught up in the moment, you know. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank Mr. you, Mr. Trey. Yeah. Looking at your married life mm. with your music, mm. I mean, would you say it has become a hindrance in your life? Would you say marriage has really uh, mess up something, taken away something in your music? Oh, habit. not at all, not mm. at all. I don't, I don't think so at all. I mean, for me, I think it's rather added okay. something because back then, I mean, we we do music, you make money, yeah. and you really you don't have reason to, um, you know, we didn't get reason enough then earlier to even do certain take certain decisions financially yeah but now that's the reason and now also you get fulfillment at least you're able to leave something at home mm. and when you come back you know food is ready yeah. it gives you great fulfillment i think it's added to my career it's, you know rather than taking out of my career it's added to my career um people assume you you've reached a certain level of responsibility so you know you're, you're a man now mm. um you know so for me it's added it hasn't taken at all okay so um this song uh this this song is, is part of your new song mm. um what is it called uh where would it go yes where would they go what really inspired that song would you think where would they go um add up with your marriage life and then you know no i, I mean i would say where would it go is more of a social um social driven um, type of song or it has that agenda of you know activism yeah. where i'm pricking the conscience of people and asking them where we're going as a nation or where um as a person they are going or they're taking their lives we, we we make a lot of decisions charlie yeah. i will not like i said i'm, I'm not an angel <laughs> but you know sometimes you become a good person not because you act good but because at least you question your your actions okay you know you question your actions there are people who don't have conscience at all mm. you know they do not have conscience at they all do things and they do it yeah it's but true. if you're able to pause mm. and ask yourself you know where am i going with this this decision i'm taking this even even with marriage like you said yeah. this person i'm going to marry mm. you know where am i going where is he going to take me or this person i'm with this job i'm in where am i taking it these are questions we need to ask ourselves. Yeah. As a nation, we need to ask ourselves what we're going as Ghana. What was Ghana before and what is Ghana now? Yeah. You know, as, as a politician, mm. as a student, you know, you know, where are you going with yourself? Because if you're able to tell, or if the you know, and the country lacks an agenda. Yeah. So everybody is doing their thing. Mm. We don't have a national agenda. Agenda that like this is what as a country we want to achieve or we want to attain. So everybody's doing their thing. So nobody's asking themselves where Ghana is going. So Marshall, you are trying to get um, something for yourself. I'm trying to get something for yourself. Everybody for, for himself. So as busy as all of us get, mm. we're leaving the main thing behind. Yeah. Now true. everybody will take their eyes off the real issues. Mm. Then when it goes bad, it will cost us more to fix it. And wow. that's what the song stands for. For people to just wake up. For people to realize that we can't take our country uh, for granted or ourselves for granted. For people to realize that we must pay particular attention to the country that we're in. Mm. Young people now think everything must be fun, must be entertainment, must be fun, must be fun, must be fun. Yeah. How many young people are really looking at at corporate Ghana, looking at the economy, and looking at financing, looking at governance, mm. agriculture, yeah. health, and all of that? Nurses are nurses because they want to get paid. Yeah. Doctors are doctors because they want to get paid. True. And that's the problem. Yeah. But if doctors are doctors because they care and something must be done, nurses the same. Politicians are politicians because they want the right governance. Teachers are teachers because they want quality education and they want kids to be trained and not yeah. just taught. A lot will change. But people are chasing jobs yeah. and not professions. True. They're two different things. A job pays you, a profession has passion involved. So people are just chasing jobs. Shall I want to finish school, get a good job, and that's, that's it. That's it. You know? But nothing. Nobody's adding anything. So it's like we've exhausted what the fathers have left behind. Yeah. And we're not creating new ones. But to still, to, we are but still, still we're taking, we're still exhausted. So we keep saying, oh, it's small. And Ghana is because the market is small. But I mean, how, like our industry, people say, oh, it's because the industry, the market is small. But you see, 
as big as the Nigerian market is. They still need Ghana market. Exactly. Yeah. And they are even protecting exactly. their big market. Exactly. So it doesn't make sense that you having a small market say, mm. oh, I'm giving an open market. Everybody come and take, come mm. and take, come and take. <laughs> and you still complain and say, oh, my market You're is hungry. small. Yeah. You know, so these are things that, you know, go through my mind. And I like to ask questions, you know, where are we going? It's true. Yeah. Viewers, where are you going? <laughs> where am I going? Ghana, where are we going? Let's take a look at the music video. When we come back, me and my guests, we're still on the journey. We'll be right back. When speaking sense turns foolishness, Doing good is useless. When sanity is all for cheap, dignity is swear for cheap, sir. And if you try to bring me change, people say go fight you. And if you were the carry change, many despise you. We live in a strange world, stranger things. So, where we they go? 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 And after death, there is judgment. It's a penny, bonny, I will see a new crap. She knew you that that she has sent Now, on my sick, I would in ya, which she has sent When the young, when the fight's the old, and when the old curse is the young. So, when everybody chasing money, love is far gone. When you give for love, where you live? When you hurt another man without no remorse, living in a crazy world, crazy world. Where we go? Where we they go? Where we they go? Where we they go?
Nobody loves this sanity Everybody crazy yeah. Where do you go? We killing all the talents And we hurling the nonsense Where we you go? I know they fear to talk about Where we they go? Okay, so that is where we they go, where you they go, where are they go, where trick they go, where everybody they go, where the country itself they go. I mean, you already know, Trigmatic, very genius guy. I mean, I don't know what to say right now. Trick. Yes, sir. <laughs> Masha. I'm super impressed, man. I mean, talking to you today, I mean, you've taken me from where I am to the next level, and I highly respect that. I mean... You're so genius, man. Thank what you. really inspired those things? I mean, what are some of the things there is? Because I knew you to be a best rapper <laughs> when tri <laughs> yo, Trigmatic, yo, Trigmatic. <laughs> but now it looks like you're doing more of the singing yeah. than the rap. Yeah. Would you say it, it, it really inspired you to choose your top five songs? Um, yeah, it did, to an okay. extent. Um, I think that it's just a face in my career. Um, <laughs> I rap, I rap for the longest time. Yo, you, you know, rap, I rap, man. I remember back in the time. days, um, Tawala Beach. Yeah. Yeah, you would trick, um, Jupiter, Jupiter, Tiny, yeah. and then you'd be busting freestyle yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. But what happened and, to And even moments? before that, like, I've done so many battles with, you know, some of the top, you know, rappers then, and, and I don't know about now because they're young. But, I mean, some of the top rappers there, and I battled with most of them. Mm. Um, I had some good wins. Uh, I, I think that the only time I lost was once, and that's because the other crowd screamed louder or something. You yeah. Know? But it was, you know, lyrics is lounge, lyrical hype. Yeah. Like, I was always winning. But the thing is, um, the thing has to do with direction. Okay. When it changes, it changes. I'm growing. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not old, but I'm growing. And I'm not saying that I'm too old for rap. No. Mm. But... Preferences changed. Yeah. Whilst I was aging, my preferences changed. My type, the type of music I started listening to became different. Mm. And then I also sort of got back in line. And when I say that, I mean I went back to visit our sound, the okay. African sound. Yeah. You know, because my orientation on hip hop wasn't too clear. Okay. So some of us even thought that oh, when you are rapping in your dialect, it's not hip hop. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so you know, a lot of us committed these errors, mm -hmm. you know, a lot, a lot of us. But now we know better, or now I, I would say I know better, and um, I'll say I'm proud and I, and I love and live my Ghanaian heritage. Yeah. Um, now, so I decided to fall back and you know fall in love with all all things African and Ghanaian. That's what changed. I started loving the African guitars. I had never, I was introduced to it, you know, by the likes of Otain and yeah. Akable and Genius. Um, and, so, you know, whenever I hear it, I'm like, Charlie, but the guitar be dope. Oh. dope. You know, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, Charlie, can I create something? I started reading about African music. I started reading about the legends, some of the things <laughs> that they did with their music. Uh, you know, started checking out the Alaji K. Frimpons, the Felakutis, the Yusundus, the Salif Keters, mm. um, you know, those CBSAs, yeah. um, the, the, the Tumani Diabates, yeah. uh, Mani Dibongo, wow. Kanda Bongo Man, wow. and all these people. Like, I started collecting music from Africa. And I realized that we have this unique, rich sound. Mm. And it's so rich, you know, like the Ebo Tailors. Yeah. Um, and we had not really exhausted them yet. Yeah, I'm telling you, true. people who love to sample and co, they haven't they haven't sampled a quarter of the songs. Yeah, from I, I, Ghana. I know the Nigerian producers, right? They do that. They come to Ghana, buy most of our 
old t- I'm, songs I'm and then take you, it back. There's Before the, you see, they the, produce a J. Song. Martin's album. Yeah. The one that he did, it, all the J. Martin tracks that was yeah. banging then. Mm. You can check all of them out. Oh, most of it was sampled from old Ghanaian highlights. It's true. You know, so we were made to think that everything, you know, highlight was weak or inferior. You know, like hip hop as a culture, yeah. you need to be jeans, be you already hands, know, right? You know, <laughs> you know, be like that. So we were made to feel that when you do that, you are you are not invoke. Yeah, you are, you are colo. Yeah, <laughs> and you <laughs> know stuff school. like your old school. <laughs> you are not, you know. So on all these things, were just you know, we're just not oriented well. But now I know better. As, you know, so I just fell back in love with the old sound, and, and then and that's I think it. that's that's really okay. So and let's I just go. Like a sink. Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. the I singing like, aspect. Uh, yeah, you know, it surprises me, me, me because it well. I knew you to be a <laughs> yo man. That's my man trick. Yo, it's trick, man. Uh, yeah. Yo, <laughs> but I still have it though. Yeah, now yeah, I yeah, so yeah. you should be putting in some time. It you is. Know? It is actually. Yeah. You know, people. You know, Ghanaians that were not getting. Uh, you know, getting connected to the album culture. No, people okay. hardly buy albums. albums yeah, but if lately. people did buy my albums, they'll realize that still about you 70% still of the songs are like rap music. Okay, so your top five. Yeah, my top five. Yes, yes. I mean, can you give me a rundown of your top five? All right, uh, so uh, at number five is uh, Siddiqui Diabate. I love him uh-huh. because he took everything that his father used to do or still okay. does okay and he modified it you know wow. and that's one thing I, I wish my dad was a musician like when i see uh, people like aquabua yeah. when i see kaboom i wish i was yeah, in their shoes you, <laughs> you know because shoes, right? like their fathers are the fathers are legends, legends you yeah. know aha uh-huh. so well me my adopted father is a couple though oh uh, yeah, yeah 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 i but, remember you you gave him something right yeah yes yes you i did him. i did so number five is uh, f- uh Fair more confiance okay. uh, by Siddiqui Diabate. Okay. Uh, that's number five. So let's take a look at Serbian Confront. Okay, so that was Semia Confiance, right? Semia Confiance. <laughs> All right, man, that's a beautiful <laughs> song, man. Yeah. I mean, I mean, this is my first time hearing the guy, and I think he's genius. Yeah, I mean, he's, he means he's super he, dope. He so yeah, yeah, your next song, your next song. So my, the next song is um, by Stone Boy. Stone Boy. Yeah, Stone I Boy. love that song. Not because Stoneboy is my homeboy, but yeah. it's because the song is dope. It's his new tune, um, and it's featuring Tenny, and I'm a big yeah. Tenny fan as well. Okay, um, you know, so I'm loving some new school. Um, Ololo, Ololo, yeah, I love it. Let's go, Ololo, <laughs> when we come back.
to give my lolo. Oh, yo, man, Stone Boy, man. Yeah, man. That guy, yo, yo that guy Stone has boy. a lot of melodies. Yeah. I don't know where he gets them from. No, because he came from my era. He came from that era. Yeah, I, I the mean, hustling, the era. hustling era. I mean, he was a blessed mic all the time. Oh, you know what? We used to do freestyles do together. together and and I think there's even a, a video on on uh, YouTube. Yeah, back then, blessed the mic. Uh, where we did myself, him, and Exo Senna, but we just did oh, a freestyle Exo. together. Oh, Yeah, and that time, <laughs> Stoneboy was underground, like, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So, Charlie, he came from a yeah, good man, era. That guy. That's your yeah. third song. So, my third song will be um, another brother I really respect from, you yeah. know, from the continent. Mm. He's from Nigeria. Oh. Uh, I'm talking about Brimo. Brimo. Uh, a lot of people don't talk much about him or say much about him. Yeah. But if you ask me, yeah. I say he's on, like... He's the best. Yeah. The he will be my top, one of my top um, people when I'm mentioning artists in Africa. Yeah. You know, even before I come down to the people that people love. Yeah. But I think Brian was amazing. He has a song called Down. Yeah. And the lyrics. Down, down. I love that love video. That. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, I don't, I don't just get it. How the director would just have wants to have one I, light. I I mean it blows my mind. That guy be smoke. Yeah. That director, I swear. <laughs> I mean, cause that's 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 yeah. I mean you, you can't even me, think about it. The first time I saw the video I was like, what? Yes. It blew Who my mind too. It? But I have a feel like the artist had some influence on you know on the video. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the kind of songs he does. Yeah. Okay, so Brian Mo, down, down. Something you they go around town People do they go downtown Some people they stand around You wanna no go downtown Them say the chief He they sleep with the chief wife I bogey for corner He they sleep the neighbor daughter carry belle for the thief child. Bearu, Bearu, something in the go round town. People who the go down town. The world is spinning round round. The world is going. Okay, so that was Brian Mo down down. <laughs> you watched the video, right? Trust me, man. This is this is another level. I mean, and this video has been there for a while. Yeah, this video been there for a minute. It means that yo, <laughs> yo, it's crazy, been there for man. a minute. It's been there for. So a yeah, now let's move on to the next song. So the next song quickly is uh, Sister. I, I want to believe that I'm the first person that played her song when I was on radio. Okay. Uh, you know, I've known the family since. Oh. And yeah, I've known her when she was a child. And the, 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 the sister called it one day and said, Charlie, you know, seriously, you know, this girl wants to do the music thing. And she has a song called Awo. And she sent a song to me. I said, what? I'm playing this on radio. So I'm not ready for the industry yet. I said, no, I'll play it on radio. <laughs> when I started playing it, and that was it. And when she went for the competition and all of that, She's always been a part of me, and yeah. I love her from a distance. It's Sina So, oh. and I love what she's doing. Her direction, yeah, amazing. This song is older than Sina. Oh yeah, but she was yeah. able to pull it off nicely, yeah, so yeah, jolly, yeah, yeah. and it has that old Sichi High Life kind of feel. Mm. And yeah, that's what's up. Okay, okay. so let's go. Sina So, oh jolly.
So, oh jolly, 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 such a beautiful video. I mean, it, her video looks like your kind of video. <laughs> Is yeah. that the reason why you guys relate? Oh. Uh, no, it's because, I mean, she's beginning to understand herself. I mean, if you know where you're from, it makes things, it, it helps you to know where you're going. Mm. You know, so I'm happy that she's beginning to know, and for her age, yeah, and the kind of song, and even the video that yeah. put together. That's deep. Whoa, I mean, she, she, she's on another level. Another level. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let me just say that look out for a video of hers that's coming out. Really? Crazy. Oh, you have it on your album? She's not on this album, but definitely we're working together um, for projects. the end of the year. Yeah, for All a right, major cool. project. That's good. So, your last video. My last video um, is going to be for, for um, who am I picking? Wiala. Yalla. Yeah, because Wiala is on my album. Okay. When we met, it was just <laughs> spiritual. Like the song we recorded, it's just spiritual. spiritual. That's all I can say. <laughs> and Wiala is spiritual. She calls this one Leno. Okay. Um, just check it out. That's all I can say. Check it out. in Nigeria, right? Mm. That was at Afrema, mm. and she was about to perform. Mm. And, you know, before I realized that this motorbike's on stage, yeah. and then she came in and she was like, whoa, and she was just, <laughs> I was like, That's Riella. whoa, Riella. That's the African I mean, she lioness. made me proud, she made me feel mm. good because she was a Ghanaian and I was also a Ghanaian mm. right there. Mm. Okay, so Trick, yeah. your album. Yes, sir. I mean, can you, Tell me a little about what is happening or what's about to come. Yeah, so um, the album is called The Eighth Element. And Eighth Element? Yes, The Eighth what Element. What really inspired that? I mean, because The Eighth Element uh, signifies life, a rebirth, okay. regeneration. Um, so if you see the art cover, you see um, a hand holding a baby with blood dripping from the hand wow. and all of that. It's just 
regeneration. It's just saying that, you know, I'm born all over again with Whoa. a new style because the style on the album is totally different. It's not the trigmatic that people know. People know the you rap know, thing. Yeah, you know, it's, I mean, not even a, apart from the rap, it's just the type of sound that's on okay. the album is totally different. Okay. You know, it's like songs that you just heard, yeah. you know, so <laughs> it's very African, very organic. Um, the features are different. I put uh, songs with I can. I did. I wasn't looking for famous people. I was looking for people with quality. Um, yeah. So I did. Um, you know, some very good stuff on the album. Uh, partly it was recorded live. Okay. So um, a lot of live sounds, live horns, live guitars, uh, bass, and all of that played. Uh, it's a 13 track album. It's a 12 track, but with an intro. Okay. And um, yeah, we, uh, where would they go? Which you just watched is on the album. The My Life remix is on the album, and then we have other uh, new songs. Who, who are some of the producers aside the Life Band? Do you have? Um, I think because I know you like to work, work with, with Genius. Genius, yeah. Yes. So Genius <laughs> worked on it like 99 percent, but oh. I also work with Apia from Kumase. Apia, Apia, okay. uh, uh, Apia on the beats okay, from Kumase, yeah, and then the Doodle Beats mm -hmm. also. Um, who's I think he's Nigerian, half Nigerian, okay. and then uh, City also uh, produced on it. They produced two of them produced one song, okay. um, and then on that same song there was there was me. There were other mu musicians who were like instrumentalists mm. who were not like part of a band but came to play other things in there, like saxophone players like Kwame Jr. and then uh, uh, Pino that played the trumpet, and me also played the trumpet on some of the songs. And yeah, and okay. I, features I have Raquel and okay, a few other. Yeah. Features. People have Prince Bright of Book Back. Okay. Yo, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I did a, an amazing tune with Bright. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And then I have a Wiala mm. on it. I have Akan, Akan. on it. Akan from uh, Rufus. Um, no, Akan uh, is a new pure Akan. He's a, okay. a new artist. Okay. Amazing guy. Check him out. And then we have, of course, the AI Manifest. Okay. Um, yeah, and Manifest. called Walasi. And cool, and oh, I, there was yeah, there was a song with Katrina Sowalski, okay. uh, The Laboratory, Akable, oh. you know, yeah. So it was a masterpiece. You have videos already out? Yes, we have. I mean, my live videos out, uh, my live remix videos out, okay. where we they go videos out. Mm -hmm. um, we're about to release the video, and I have Joey B on a song, so we're about to release okay. a video for that one. It's also um, on the album. It's on the album, yes, okay. Akake Moko. And then we release a video, a dance video for the song with Wiala. You okay. know, until we all comes and then we shoot the video proper. Yeah. Is there going to be any shows? Because yeah. I think last week or so. Yes, weeks uh, a week past. ago I did Osage Force Night, which, yes, yes. which was, uh, you know, pre uh, to the album, and I did the album listening. We're also going to do. Um, like a soft lunch, mm -hmm. sort of like a corporate lunch with the corporate people, okay. just just so they understand the direction we're going to. Um, in case we we reach out to them for the mula, yeah. they will know where we're going. <laughs> the mula, so, yeah. So we're doing that, and then um, we're doing that together with media. Okay. So it's gonna be like an event where we we'll have media, we we'll have corporate Ghana come yeah, together. And Max TV. And then, yeah, of course, yeah, Max, Max TV is definitely TV. on, and you, we'll do some performances for them to experience the new mm -hmm. album, and then we shoot a documentary. We shot a documentary, so okay. we played a documentary um, that has to do with the recording of the album, and uh, yeah, and a lot more. Wow. Yes. Yo, <laughs> as you said, the mula they come. Uh, Charlie, Too how much you are, man. <laughs> yeah. Yo, man, mm. thank you so much for coming to the show. Thank I really too. appreciate I mean, you, you have never let me down. You're you. just like a brother to me, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, for tuning in, it's my guest, Trigmatic, such an amazing soul. Thank you. It's been so great, so wonderful. See you next time, same time, same place, Max TV. We out.